In this video, I'm gonna show you a bunch of ways to customize and animate your captions in Premiere Pro. Now, before we get started, I just wanna make sure that you know that this video assumes that you already know how to create and edit captions to make them look how you want. So if you don't know how to do that, make sure to watch the video linked down below and then come back to this one after. All right, so assuming you have your captions created and edited the way that you want them to look, so in terms of their positioning, their scale, their color, all that kind of stuff, the font, now it's time to add some customizations and some animations. And the first step to be able to do that is to actually convert your captions into graphics. So to do that, it's very easy. You just highlight your captions and then just go up to graphics and titles and down to upgrade caption to graphic. You'll notice that the captions will then turn into graphics right here, looking like text that you're used to. So I click that and then boom, now they look like regular text graphics because they are. Okay, so for this first section, we're just gonna go over some absolute basic things that you can do to customize your captions. Okay, so the first one that I'm gonna show you how to do is just change the color of a word or a set of words. To do that, all you have to do is select the caption that you wanna edit and then make sure over here to select essential graphics. If you don't see essential graphics, go up to window and down to essential graphics right there. To actually change the color of a word or selection of words, just click in and highlight the ones you want to change. And then over here within essential graphics, if you scroll down, you can go to fill and change the color. Now you can just click in here and go to your color picker and slide this along, pick the color that you want, and then click OK. But if you're gonna do that same color or a series of colors to multiple different ones, that could be time consuming to try and match the exact same color. So my suggestion is this, import a color wheel. So I'm gonna go up to File, Import, and I have a couple color wheels here. If you don't have one, obviously just go to Google, search in like color wheel PNG or something, find one that has the colors that you want, and then save that image. If we go back to Premiere, I'm gonna select this one, just double click to import, you'll see it come in here, and then just double click so you see it in your source monitor over here, so opposite your program monitor. Now, when you select the text that you want to change, instead of clicking in here and going and finding a color, you can just click on the color picker and then head over to the color wheel and select the one that you want. You can see the colors changing as I kind of pivot through this. So I'm gonna pick this yellow right here. And then now, if I wanna do this to other ones as well, it's very, very easy. So I can go in here and select basic things, click on the color picker and either pick the exact same color if I want it to match exactly, or obviously pick something else if I want it to be different. And just like color, you can customize your captions very easily in different ways too by, let's say, changing your font. So highlighting it, I'm gonna go over here and maybe pick like single fighter there, so that'll stand out. You can also go up top here to your align and transform tools and maybe rotate it. So I'd suggest going like maybe only like three or something like that. These ones, you can you know move it to a different spot on the screen if you want, place it up there. And if I go over to this one, I can show you that you can also adjust like the line and stuff that are on. So if I wanted to be like to customize your captions, I can do size as well. So let's say this one, I wanna make a little bit bigger and then maybe this, your captions, I wanna go even bigger there. And then again, if you wanted to mess with your colors very easily, select them, color picker, select them, and you're good to go. And just that quickly, we made that exact same little sequence. Next, I'm gonna show you a few different ways to add karaoke style effects to your captions, whether they're coming in one word at a time like this, or it's changing one line at a time like this. Okay, so once again, I have all of the unedited captions right here, and I'm gonna use each of these sections to show you a different way to do a karaoke effect with your captions. Just know that for all of these karaoke effects, you really need to make sure that you have your captions looking the way that you want, spell checked and everything. So we're gonna be slicing these all into little bits for basically each word. So make sure to go in and check. Okay, so now that we have everything set, I'm gonna show you how to do the first karaoke animation, which is basically just changing one word at a time into a new color as it's being set. So to do that, put your blue playhead where you want to zoom into and then click on this little circle, click slide left so you can zoom into that section to get a nice close up, or you can hit plus or minus on your keyboard. 
then just go through and find exactly where each word ends and the next word begins and make a cut. So I'm going to listen here. Next is the first one. So next, and I'd, I'd suggest scrubbing through. So next is right there. So I'm going to use my razor tool to slice. So that's next. I'm is to there. So slice. Gonna. And I'm listening for the shh. That's the next one. So I'm going to go back a bit and go gonna. And then and then I'm listening for the y for you. So that's right there. Slice. Now I'm going to have next. I'm going to show you. So each one has their own thing. So all we have to do now is select each word one at a time. So I'm going to click in here and select next. I'm going to go down to my fill and then I'm going to get my color wheel loaded up back over here and use the color picker to, I'm going to go with this yellow this time. So next. And then if I scroll over, you can see that next turns white again. So I can just highlight I'm. And make it yellow. So now when we watch this one, it's going to go next. I'm going to show you. Now, if you didn't want each word to change just one at a time, like once they changed yellow, you wanted them to stay yellow. This is how you do that. So it's very, very similar. You select the first one. I've already cut these ones into each word that's on here. So the first one, I'm going to click in and change a uh to yellow. And then for this second one, all you'd have to do is do a uh and few. So both words. And then for this one, obviously, you select all three and do the same thing and so on. Just adding another word to be yellow each time. So that one looks like this. So a few different ways to add and they'll slowly turn into yellow as each word comes in. Now, if you literally want one word to come in at a time, then you do the exact same thing. You set up your caption the way that you want, but just be aware that see how this is centered for this effect. You want to left align. So I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to go into here into my text alignment and I'm going to go left align within this box, not this one up here this one within my text stuff here. Okay, so left aligned, then go back up here to align and move it over to the middle if you want. So I'm going to slide this over to about there. I'm also going to click on the all caps thing again to make it all caps. So I guess now I have to move it back a little bit to about there. Okay, and then you're just going to do what we did before and slice each of these up one word at a time. So one word at a time like this. Okay, so each one is separate. And then we're just going to work backwards. So starting with this last one, we want all the words in there. For this second last one, you're just going to come in and get rid of this. For this one, obviously, you're going to get rid of like this, and you're just going to keep working backwards until you have this one at the start is just having the first word, whatever you have. So one. So now it'll be one word at a uh, time like this will come in. So we watch that one. And one word at a time like this. And then obviously another variation of that is ones that look like a paragraph or like word art instead of being on one line. In that case, same rules apply. Select everything. And then within your text section over here, make sure you left aligned. And then also make sure to top align your text. And that'll align it to the left and the top of the red box. Now just highlight and resize the words the way that you want. So I'm going to make weather maybe a little bit bigger and then they're coming in. I'm going to shrink down to be smaller, maybe like that. One word will be my biggest thing. And then notice that the other at a time disappeared. So if that happens, just go back to your selection tool and expand your box so you can see more. And then just go back in and resize that to how you want. So I'm going to make that one maybe about like that. And the last thing you'll notice here is that there's maybe different gaps between the lines. So to fix that, just select the ones that you want to move, maybe one line at a time. In this case, I'm going to do two. And then go to not this one, the leading one with two A's on it. Go to this one that has a big A and little a. And then just click and slide on that one. And you can move that section up and down to where you want it. So I'm going to go to about there and then I'm going to select this one and maybe move that one up just a bit like that. Okay. Once you have it looking the way that you want, then go back up to align and transform and place it on the screen where you want it. So maybe I want it to be there. 
and then go in just like you did before and slice each word into their own piece and then delete the last word one at a time, starting with the second last one. Because remember, this one has to have all the words in it. This one, you're gonna get rid of just the last word here, boom. Obviously this one, getting rid of the last two words and so on until you end up right back at the start where all you have is the one single word that starts it all off. When that one's done, it will look like, like this. Coming in one word at a time like this. And then there's the super easy effect of changing one line at a time. Now, if your captions are separated like this, like they probably will be, you need to just go into one and write out the whole section of those lines that you need. So, or it's changing and I'm gonna go one line at a time and then on the next line like this. Then make any adjustments you need to make it look how you want. So I'm gonna go back in and hit this all caps thing again so it looks like that. Next, just drag that new clip, like the new text onto its own layer and stretch it out so it matches with the old text that you have, the old captions. And then use your razor tool to just slice at the exact same spots where the changes happen and then delete the old two. Now all you have to do is go in and adjust each line to how you want it to look when it comes in. So I'm gonna go into this one and I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger and then I'll get my color wheel back and maybe this one is orange this time. So, or it's changing. Just make sure before we go to the next one to remember what your size was because it usually looks good if they're kind of the same size. So I'm gonna go now to the next clip here highlight this one and my size was 199. I'm gonna pick a different color just to mix it up a little bit. So I'll go to green and then go to my last one here and change like this to also 199. And I'm gonna pick a different color. And now when we watch it, it looks or like, or it's changing, changing one line, line at a time, at a time like, like this. this. And then last but not least for the karaoke effects, I'm gonna show you how to do kind of the background highlight method where there's a background color that goes behind the words as you say them. Okay, so obviously for this effect, the first thing we need to do is make a rectangle. So head over to your tools, go down to your rectangle tool and just make a rectangle. Just be aware though, that if you have your playhead anywhere over top of the text that you're dealing with, over the caption you're dealing with, then your shape is gonna be housed within that graphic right there. And you can see over here, we see the shape and the text that we're dealing with. We can't have that for this effect. So I'm gonna click back on the shape and just delete it, get it out of there. I'm gonna move my playhead over here and then I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna now draw my rectangle and you can see that the shape popped in over here, but now it's its own graphic. And if I just slide this down, what you wanna do is make it the same length as your text and then flip them. So just make sure your new shape graphic is under your text graphic right here. Then all we have to do is click on our shape graphic right here and you can see that it's selected over here in essential graphics. In the future, anytime you want to select your shape, your rectangle to resize it or move it, you can do it one of two ways. You can click on your selection tool and then click on the rectangle here and you can see the selection things will show up. I'll just shrink this down. Or if you're selected off like this, you can also just click within essential graphics on shape and then the same things will apply. So right now we're just gonna move it. So I'm gonna click on it and move it underneath karaoke there. And I'm gonna use these side handles to move it and shape it so it is just the size to fit underneath karaoke. If it's too small on your screen, then just go down here to fit and zoom into like 100 or 150% and just move over to it so you can size it up properly. So maybe like that, like that, and like that. So now we are just surrounding karaoke. To change your color, go into your appearance into fill here again and pick whatever you want. So I'm gonna move it to orange. And then the last kind of decision if I click away is like right now the corners are very sharp, like regular corners. If I click back on my graphic here and then click back on the rectangle, you can see that there's this kind of curvy line thing here. So you can decide how curvy you want your corners to be. So I'm gonna crank it up quite far just so you can see. So you see how that curves the corners. 
I'm going to go with something like that, but you can pick whatever you want, obviously. And then just like we did for the other karaoke effects, you're going to slice every time there's a new word, but this time we're going to slice on the graphic instead of the actual text caption here. So I'm going to slide along. Karaoke style. Okay. Karaoke. And then it's style. I'm going to slice. Now, the only difference with this one is you only want to slice one at a time. Okay. So I'm going to slice. Then I'm going to click back on the rectangle and use my align and transform here to move it into place. So I'm going to slide it over so it lines up with style and shrink that down right there. Now, this middle thing, I'm just going to place it back into the middle there. That's the anchor point. Once that one's in, just listen for the next word again. Style. Effects is going to be right there. So I'm going to slice, go back to my selection tool onto the new graphic here, click back on my rectangle and move it. Now, I'm going to actually just stretch it out and then stretch it back instead of moving it over. So like that. And then I'm going to just move my anchor point back to the middle and then so on. Go to the end until you've done all of your words. But remember to just do them one word at a time. So now when we watch this one, the orange rectangle will move along as each word is being Karaoke said. Karaoke style effects to your captions. And that's it. But if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to check out the videos that are linked on the screen right now or down below for my full vertical video editing playlist. I don't know why.